a local nursery is a great place to start. We sell a variety of vegetables. Um, the main one we sell is probably tomatoes, um, but we'll sell a lot of um, like leafy greens, um, butter crunch, romaine. But before you can get anything in the ground, you'll need a good place to plant with full sun and healthy soil. This is going to be my first garden, so I've had some friends who've done it before and been reading some gardening books. Today I am, well we tilled up the ground yesterday, so went to the store and bought some peat moss and some compost and I'm going to uh, mix them together with the soil to kind of create a nice, nice atmosphere for the plants. Once you have your plants chosen and the soil ready, you're ready to start your garden. But do yourself a favor and skip some common mistakes. A lot of things that I saw last year was overwatering, and that wasn't necessarily due to people overwatering. Um, we had a lot of rain, um, of one of our wettest seasons in a while. Also, don't get too eager because if you put your fragile plants in the ground before the last frost, they'll die and you'll have to buy them again. The last frost that we had was probably about a week ago. And I know that we're getting down to 32. I think this is coming Thursday. Okay. Um, this winter has been um, a big problem for a lot, of a, a lot of people. So get outside and get your soil ready. And after the last frost hits, put your favorite veggies in the ground. Adam Wolski, Tiger TV.